Baraton TV here and here after. Welcome dear viewer to Music and Doctrine once again. We are going to look at music just to try to understand music that we use in our day-to-day -day life. Music and doctrine. And I'm sure you are learning a lot as many of the viewers are telling us. They are learning a lot. They are liking. They are subscribing. And I see the numbers are just going up. Don't be left behind. That button down there, subscribe, click on it. That button with the thumbs up, click on it so that you are part of something greater. Today, we want to look at music and doctrine. And you know, we have said and we say again that doctrine is what music carries. Music can be sweet, but the doctrine it carries determines whether the music is relevant for a believer or it's not relevant. Because if the doctrine is false in one way or another, then the singing becomes false worship. And so today we want to talk about association. Because music comes with association. You need to know the music that you consume. What is that music associated with? Listen, friends, there is music that is called reggae, reggae music. It is associated with the Rastafarian culture and religion. It is associated. There is music that is called rap music. It is associated with the gang culture of the Americas, the West Side, you know, associated. When you say Catholic music, it is associated. So all music comes with association. It is associated with something. So the music you consume, what is that music associated with? That is the question. Is it associated with what you believe? Is it associated with correct doc doctrine? That will determine whether the music you consume is helping you to grow spiritually or is putting you in a situation where you are engaged in false worship by association. And so friends, we need to think when we bring styles, for example, in the church and we say that we are going to bring gospel music but with a reggae beat, we associate. When a Protestant sings music with a Catholic kind of style, it is associated. The association is always carried. Can we rap Christian music? Because rap comes with association. And listen, friends, not all associations are good. And that's why God speaks to his people very clearly that they must avoid any association with the evil or association with that which is not right. Somebody may say, yeah, for example, reggae music talks about Jah. Jah is the short of God, Jehovah. That is our God. Listen, friends, and this question needs to be answered even for those who say that it's just the same God, different names. You know, it's God. His other name is Allah. His other name is Jah. His other name is this. Listen, all gods are not the same. Every religion has to define their God. What is the attribute of that God? What is the nature of that God? What is the character of that God? If it is not consistent with the Christian teaching, then that is not the God we worship. So it's not just about names. You can't just go around saying, oh, by any name it's okay. No. A God who is vindictive and forgiving, a God who promotes, for example, activities where people die and he said that it is the will of God, that cannot be the God that we deal with. A God who promotes people to look a little bit shaggy. A God who promotes a culture of promoting only one race. That we want the liberty of one race. The God of the Bible that we deal with is not just interested in the liberty of the black man. He is interested in the liberty of all men who are bonded in sin. And sin is a bigger bondage than the bondage that we find ourselves as black people here and there scattered all over the world. And so you cannot just say that, oh, the reggae music says, Ja, Rastafari, and you say, oh, Ja is also the same as our God. That is being short-sighted and thinking narrowly. Listen, friends, be careful about the association. Not any God is our God. 
and not any name of God applies to our God. The God must be consistent with what we think. That's what we wanted to bring you today in music and doctrine, that be careful about the association of the music that you listen to, because that association, what is associated with promotes that teaching. And if that teaching is not consistent with what is in scripture, then you are singing and consumption of that music becomes false worship. Thank you so much. Welcome again to Baraton TV. Please, there is another button there that says share. You click on it and share with your friends. There is another button, thumbs up, click on it. There is another button, subscribe, click on it. Music and doctrine. Baraton TV, here and hereafter.